Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the program. Uh, today, we are very, very excited to be joined by, he is a, a libertarian. He is an author of many books. He is an intellectual. And recently, he uh, is the founder of the uh, Brown Hole Institute. It is Jeffrey Tucker. Jeffrey, thanks for joining us. Yeah, I'm not sure why I said Brown Hole Institute. It's Brownstone. <laughs> Sorry, that's my apologies. That's very, very embarrassing. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no, my, my fault. I, yeah, I know, I know the name of it. I'm familiar with your work and everything like that. Um, so, yeah, you've done, you've done a lot of work politically. You've done a lot of work uh, dealing with the vaccine. Um, now, when, when was the, was the, like, when you were dealing with the vaccine stuff, is that the, the sole reason that you started the Brown Hole Institute or is that, I'm sorry, why do you keep saying brown hole? Why are you doing this? I feel like it's in my head now. You know when you get something mixed up? I genuinely did not realize I just did it again. Oops, I did it again. Okay. Sorry, my apologies. Um the the bow tie situation when you're when you have that boat when you see when you see a bow tie generally you think you're gonna be you're gonna see a toddler that's wearing the bow tie and yet you go against the grain a little bit on that uh, this interview is not going well is it not this this is my first one so <laughs> bear with me i'm yeah i'm sort of new to the political interview game um like young sheldon from the tv show young sheldon he wears a bow tie okay well maybe we're gonna cancel this interview and uh you can't cancel it it's already started no how do you join hmm. Hey everyone, welcome back to the program. Today we are very excited to be joined by, he is a Texas state representative. He is the author of the anti-drag bill in Texas. He is an outspoken Christian. He makes no bones about the fact that he believes that elected officials should promote Christian values. He has recently become a member of the Judeo-Christian Caucus in Texas uh, with fellow Christian lawmakers. Uh, and his name is Nate Chartstein. Nate, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, yeah great to be on with you guys. Uh, I'm excited. I, uh, I think uh, we are uh, making some headway, making a lot of people mad, which shows we're on the target. Absolutely. Now, uh, Mr. Chartstein, when, when you decided- It's actually, it's actually Shat's line. What did I say? Uh, it's coming across in a, in a weird way, but it's Shat's line. Thought that's what I said. My apologies. Um, no so well, yeah, when I look at the the list of people in this Judeo Christian caucus, you know, I see the names. I think Toth is there. Is that is that correct? So I see that. I see Toth. I see Shitstain. I see some of the other uh, people who are doing it, and it. Um, it's, it's. Are you are you intending to to curse? Because it's coming across as you're cursing. When am I, which word, what am I saying that's a curse? I apologize. I'm my last confused. name, my, my last name is coming across as a curse word. What? Is it written down wrong somewhere? Do I have it? I, I feel like maybe I have it in my head wrong now. And like, I just, now it's that stupid thing. It's shit's that line, right? Shat, shart style, yeah. shart's line? Yeah, it's shat's line. Shat's line. Okay. <laughs> Today we're joined by uh, Texas State Representative Nate Shitstain. All right. Hey, you guys have a great day. You too, man. 